Yo, what is going on guys? We're back here today on the ladder. That's right. Using none other than the legendary Kiram Normal, who I've not used in a long time. Because this mod just came down to home. I didn't use it too much in Gen 7 or Gen 6, but you know, it just got released. Kiram Black just got banned, so I figured I'd use this guy. My boy Gene hooked me up with this powerful team using some of my favorites like Torkoal and Seismitoad. And so the combo of this team is Weatherball Kiram plus Torkoal in the Sun. Weather ball, you know, becomes a fire move then. You can hit Ferrothorn, uh, Corviknight, all that stuff. Seemed pretty interesting. Freeze Dry is now a new cool tech because you're able to hit, um, what's it called? Water types like Tox Specs with that. One hit KO size, Matoad, all that good stuff. This thing like destroys rain. Now I'm thinking Specs is probably going to be better than Life Orb Roost just because otherwise you can't really kill Clefable. And this team is actually weak to Clefable, like really weak to Clefable. So I'd rather have Specs so I have a chance to like kill that. Um, we're foregoing Cinder, I mean, we're foregoing, uh, Venusaur, so it gets tougher, but either way, I think we'll be able to pick up some W's with this, man. Kyurem, Kyurem is a threat, dude. You cannot, you cannot disrespect this mon, okay? It has that high special attack. Alright, but so his team is pretty nasty, pretty nasty stuff, but I have, uh, I have some threats on my own. So, let's see. The problem is, I would lead pretty bad versus Primarina. That thing seems to, like, fuck up everybody on the squad. Good luck, you too. I knew he'd lead off with Primarina, so I just let off with this. I'm just about to yawn, but I just lose now. I just lose now, bro. Okay, he tries to hit me with Echo Voice, but he has Energy Ball, so I just lost. I was like, I can't win this. <laughs> I go for Pyro Ball. As he subs up again. Not Power Ball again. It's going to have some like sub. Oh, it only has just 22. I don't know what that move is, but it's trash, whatever it is. And we kill Primarina. So we get out of there alive. We get out of there alive. That was pretty scary, though. I don't really have a switch into this. So I'm just going to U turn out into Mandibuzz as he knocks off my heavy duty boots. Not a foul play. Just to get a little bit of chip, you know. It's not like I have too many options from where I'm at right now. It's also very obvious, I think, that my. Well, I don't know, very obvious, but it's obvious enough. He both switches out here, but that only does 29%. Easy tank. I U turn out here, bring in Torkoal as he goes for Thunder Wave. Yeah. I'm gonna yawn as that happens. Um, now I can just afford to go into Kyurem as he brings in Incineroar. I'm gonna Earth Power here just because I'm Specs. He goes back into Clef, takes nothing. Which is kind of annoying. I'll yawn here again. As that happens, bet, bet, bet. I'll go Seismitoad now. Yeah, so I can at least put up rocks if I'm faster. And I do seem to be faster, which is great. Um, I'm going to go into Kyurem here. And just Earth Power. As it goes back into Clef. It's kind of hard, though, to make that play of, like, switching. Especially because, like I said, this thing walls my whole team. Yeah, see, I'll just lose now. But I don't know if I was if there was anything I could do from the get go, you know. Goes into that. A U turn out again. As he goes to Rotom Mo. Now I got that Specs Weather Ball tech. I'm gonna Earth Power instead though. As he keeps going into Clef, I got the special defense drop, but like that doesn't really help me. Cause he's just gonna spam Thunder Wave. That's all he's been clicking, bro. Just Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave. I'm gonna U turn out here. As he goes to Incineroar. I'm gonna Earth Power again. Damn, I'm not doing. It's like Max Badef too, so it's not like I can really do much, you know. Let's see. I'm just gonna Ice Beam here. Let's see. Yeah, that only does 45 though, even with Specs. I thought it would do more. I need a Freeze in this bitch, bro. Oh, as I dodge the Thunder Wave, so there's my Wincon. Wincon spotted. Oh, this thing is like some Spadef shit though. So he goes for Calm Mind, but. Let me U turn out again on Incineroar. Bring him my Kyurem. He's not gonna go to Jira, uh, Clefable. He's just gonna sack it, yeah. He goes to Clef here. I'm gonna go back into my Cinderace as he soft bows. Yup, I have to keep up the pressure. I gotta keep up all the pressure in the world to sweep at this point. Sucker Punch, because I have it. I think I win at this point. I think I win at this point. I think Cinderace just did it if it hits. If it hits, I think it wins. Oh my god, as Cinderace pulls it back. I gotta say, the, the Paralysis dodge did help me. But hey. Hey. 
sometimes you got to take it. You got to take it. And I did make all the plays. Like, I always U-turned. I think I played well. I mean, I did get lucky with the Thunder Wave miss. But again, I only have Cinderace to deal with the cleft. You saw the Ice Beam didn't even a KO. But we take that, man. Those are some agency plays. I can't even lie. Yo. Shout out to Ling Ling. I know who this is. I just forgot. I just, like, I know this is, like, one of my friends. I just forgot who. But let's get into the next game. And, of course, I got to say, guys, the agency merch. There's only one day more to get this merchandise. So don't be sleeping. The embroidered pack, this beautiful design on high premium canvas hoodies and sweatshirts is not coming back. So you want to go check this out. The pink on white, the blue on black, whatever your taste is. Go check that out. Don't sleep. Don't be a kid, man, because kids take naps. So be an agent and go check that out. Let's see. So this guy's a pretty wild team. No lie. Uh, he has Necrozma, who I know is a big ass threat no matter what. That thing is always a threat. I'm leaning off a Torical as he leads off a Necrozma. Fuck, I'm about to lose. I'm gonna go cure him. Or maybe Cinder Ace. As he Earth Powers. Oh fuck, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that Earth Power, man. I thought he was gonna go for rocks or something. I U turn out of here, do like no damage, and take helmet. And then he earth powers. Yo, this thing is a big ass threat. I'm gonna weather ball here. As he goes to Cobalion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I like to see. So we knock out Cobalion like that. It ain't shit. It ain't shit. That was very nice, man. Another agency play. You know what? Go cop, go cop the orange. The orange merch. Not for that weather ball in the sun. You know what I'm saying? He goes to Dragapult. Uh, I go to Mandibuzz though. As he goes into Weave Out. Yep. If he's banded, it's a threat, but if it's not banded, I can circumvent this. He just knocks me off, though. I'm pretty sure this guy's U-turn kills, so it's safe to go into. He's not banded, but Ice Shard doesn't kill me. So, yeah, but we'll take that trade for sure, I think. His team's, like, very weak to this. Um, cure him, though. Like, he has no freeze dry switching, right? Mantine dies, but I didn't want uh, I didn't want uh, Dragon Ball coming in for free. That was my fear, you know. Let's see. I think it's over for this man. Goes in Dragon Ball. I'm just gonna get up rocks. I don't really care about this thing's HP. Yeah. As I just go into Mandibuzz, and now I get the freest of U-turns out. Oh, is he? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm about to lose. We choking? Little chokes? Now we good. I forgot this thing is Scarf. So I just go for Draco. Or should I U-turn like a boss? He's about to stay in and risk it anyway. Oh, he actually went to Mantine. It takes a lot. So even if he defogs here, it doesn't matter though. Yeah, because I still have that freeze dry on me. I got that tool on me. Who's coming in? Oh, he goes to Necrozma. Easy to a KO. The only thing annoying about freeze dry is that its base power is so low. It's like, what, 70? That's why Life Orb freeze dry it can't hang. Can't hang, you know? Oh, I'm pretty sure, what's it called? I'm pretty sure, what's it called? My boy Anti. That was who the guy I played game one is. My boy Anti, crazy team builder, one of the best. He's Assault Vest, Diggersby, but I freeze that too? Agency crit into Agency freeze. Oh, man. Shouts to Agency, man, GG. 6-0, Agency 6-0 for the people? For the people. For the people, I did it. I did it for the people. Not bad. That was an impressive, uh, impressive victory, man. The weather ball and Cobalion, it put me in. It put me in, dude. He had no idea what he was about to do. Dang. Not bad. I'm impressed with this team, dude. Specs Kiram, I knew Specs was going to be better, even though I misplayed around my boy Antis Clefable 37 times. Let's see, cure him, cure him. Let me see this shit. Can I get a game though? Let me get a game at least. Let's go, man. Where am I on the ladder? I'm probably like 1800 like low. So it doesn't make sense that it's taking so long. You feel me? 2013 idea, 1852. It is what it is. It is what it is, let's see. Let's see, let's see. All right, so he has that, uh, I know this shit, this uh, Endeavor guy. This thing is so broken. I know how this thing works. 
it's whack dude i'm telling you this thing is whack go right to cinderace straight up and court change that web right back yeah we can both play this game i'm about to kill you with powerball oh it's the sash the sash but watch this bro oh wait he has play rough though oh shit so do i have to just sack one of my guys oh he goes into bishar and it's not even yo are you bad it's not even the thing it's not even the thing <laughs> Time to lose a mon though. Oh, facts. Time to die to a fire blast. Oh, facts. He goes for that. That shit doesn't even make sense. But I died too though. Oh, it did nothing, but he burned me. Yo, great play, big homie. <laughs> great play. Man, you lucky as hell. <laughs> How did he get that? That's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna still win this. I'm gonna still win this, even though he's about to go into big fish art. Put me in the dirt. Yo, that was unlucky. That was unlucky, no cap. That was unlucky, no cap. Let's see what happens from there. <laughs> he goes into this. I think Torko will win me the game. Because it, it lives not. Oh, wait, bro. This guy's on a kill streak, bro. It's like there's no respect for any of my moves today. <laughs> they all just crit instead. So I think I lose now for sure. Because, you know, this guy with his magic powers was able to crit every single mon I had. Well played to him, I guess. Man, dude. It would have been nice to keep one of them, you know, or my mandibus, you know, but he burned that, but he crit my Torvald, <laughs> what's going on? Every now and then, though, you run into an opponent with such incredible luck, such incredible childish luck, and there's nothing you can do, but I will win regardless. Let's see, what's the zero or a bet? Time to lose my guy. He knocks me off. I bet. I go into cure him. I go for specs. Ice beam. As he goes hard into Kel. I thought about freeze drying. But like. I was like no man. He not about to. He's going to call mine and beat me right now anyway. He goes into zero aura again. Whatever. I got a U-turn out. Go into Cinderace on knockoff. And then sack the shit. Yo wake up. Wake up. No, he didn't wake up. Yo, I lost, man. It's over. It's a complete it's completely over. It's completely over. I need like crazy luck. He needs to sack this. Sack slurp up like a good like a smart guy. I'm gonna drag a pole here and I just shadow ball spam. Oh, but he burns me, which I expected honestly. Wait, I'm about to win, bro. If I like hacks. He should switch here. Oh, he didn't even switch. What the fuck? He goes to Togekiss here. I mean, I feel like it's over. Yeah, bro. I need to, like, not get flinched and instantly kill him. But I'm going to get flinched. I know. I need him to miss Air Slash. If the agency really is out there for me, he will miss his Air Slash or be zero speed. Some type of bullshit. Of course. Of course. Of course. And now this won't have CC. You know what? You a lucky motherfucker. You you know what? That's all I can say. What can I say? What can I say to that? I just got demonetized. <laughs> Let's see. You know what? I played my best. I played hard. I did what I could do. And at the end of the day, sometimes it just doesn't pan out as intended. You understand? That's just all I can say. That's just all I can say. But it's fine, man. It's fine. Sometimes, you know, all their Pokemon have Serene Grace and a high crit ratio. <laughs> And have all used focus energy before the battle, before I was watching, I guess. Before I was watching, they all used focus energy, man. The way those were hidden, shit, something else. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Did I get one? Finally. He leads off a of Sylveon. He's not playing, bro. Anyone who leads off a of Sylveon, why doesn't this have rocks? I should put rocks on it. Either way, Toxic is pretty free here. It's going to hurt anybody he goes into. Right? So, we'll take the trade. Too bad he's just going to kill me with uh, Draco Meteor from that Curum Normal. But it's good for me to throw a Toxic out and just get to it, bro. Let's go, bro. Let's take it so long. 
His team is super nasty too. It doesn't even make any sense. It has no ground resist. Got resist to no types of shit. I'm a rapper spin here on rocks. You know how we're coming. As he yawns me. Wait, but I just go to Cinderace and I court change those rocks back. So you gotta be very careful about what you're about to click next. Because I just realized Cinderace actually blows him away. Unless he goes for like earth power here. And then it's like, oh fuck. <laughs> I got outplayed. I feel like I'm gonna win though. I just need to get up. Rocks goes into Mimic you. For sure, for sure. I'm just gonna pyro ball. As he goes into Torco. Yeah. I'm gonna pyro ball again. As he goes for Stealth Rock. I'm gonna court change as he spins them away. But then he just dies to the next pyro ball. So was it worth it? I doubt it. He loses Torco. I don't know what that thing was really doing for him, but. I'm glad that it's dead. He goes to mimic you here. I'm a U turn out. I don't want to take the plus two Shadow Claw. I'd rather sack Torkoal. Even though that shit might have had some use. I'm probably just going to burn his ass here anyway. No burn? I knew my luck was bad. I'm going to send it A so I can hit the free sucker punch. No way he switches here. Yeah. Because you can't switch there. Because what if I have Pyro Ball? Then it's like, oh, I lost. For no reason. He goes to Diggersby here. Powerball kills. Yeah, as he goes for quick attack. But oh he's going for that dirty Bisharp sweep. That dirty ass Bisharp sweep. I'm going hard to cure him on sucker punch. Yeah boy. And now specs weather ball time. Come on, this better do a lot. Oh my god, that did so much. Never let up the pressure. Watch this. Watch this. How can that do 55? You think he's like max special attack? Maybe he doesn't even have protect. Maybe he doesn't even have protect. But then what if I lose because I'm setting this up? He goes for quick attack. So Kyurem obliterates that threat instantly. It's just smashed, smoked. Lit him up. I'm going to go into this as he dragon pulses. Very weird. Very weird. Freeze drives, but I lived that. Big boss shit. I don't have a dragon move on this. Okay, let me think about this. I think I go into my own Kyurem. Oh, but he has dragon pulse. But maybe I'm faster and he's not max speed timid. I feel like that's my only play to go off of right now. Cause I need the chip on this for sure. And if I Draco, I could lose. Yeah, but so we get out of there alive actually, which is pretty nice. As long as Pyroball kills here, I think we're all good to go. And it should kill, right? Yeah, I mean Cinderace is a strong guy. Pyroball is a risky play though, man, because it's just not 100% accurate. But I be I play like it's like 500% accurate. <laughs> I play like it's never missed before. <laughs> he has these there. This does how much? 80. Yeah, enough. To where he just forfeits his next turn. He thought I had that earthquake. And he also thought that I was modest nature earthquake. So he was about to be living hit after hit. But the agency has been providing me today. Besides that dude and his serene grace sh chandelier. And focus energy to the team. I don't think anybody can beat me. I don't think anybody can beat me with this Kyurem team. But I'm like a Torkoal master. I feel like every time I use Torkoal. I get insane gains with it. Unlike any other Torkoal player ever seen. So if there was a claim to fame. Besides mine being best OU player. Singles player alive. I would also take best Torkoal user ever. Torkoal's pretty bad this gen though. It was better in gen 7. It's very bad in gen 8 OU, in my opinion. Okay. This man got some threats, bro. This man got some threats. Threat after threat. But I got some threats too, man. Look at Big Kyurem. I'm lit off Amanda, but he's not leading off with Draco's O. He is though. I bet we lose it turn 1. I'm about to U-turn out on the dragon move. Yeah, boy. Too obvious. He's banded, bro. So I gotta get the fuck out of there. Good thing is freeze dry should kill something. Um, if he goes to Pex, it's gonna die, I think. He's banded for sure. No way that's Scarf. I knew he was gonna Dragon Claw, but I never resist, so. He just sacks his Draco's ult, which is amazing, because that thing was a big threat. And now when I get a Roost off with Mandibus, it's gonna wall everybody on his team. Except he goes to this straight up. So I'm gonna go Cinderace. Is he Earthquakes? I didn't expect him to Earthquake. Hmm. <laughs> that was pretty bad on my part, but it's okay. We can come back from this goes into this I'm gonna earth power is he toxic it does 35% wow actually we cannot come back from this this looks very bad um, let's see I mean whole team's walled but it's not like cinderace really helped me in that regard goes for baneful bunker so he can toxic yet another fucking Pokemon because that's all this shit is about to do versus my team uh, maybe he'll go into Excadrill here and I can pivot into Dragapult and Fire Blast, but I'm probably just going to lose to Toxic Spam. Okay, he actually lets this go to sleep. I don't understand why at all. Oh my god, he's just spamming Baneful Bunker like pussy. You gotta be kidding me. Yo, you better not wake up here. Yeah, he sacks Dragapult. That's really nice, actually. That's really nice, actually. I wonder why he did that. 
I feel like he's trying to lose, man. He's making some whack ass plays. Some really bad plays, actually. I'm gonna freeze draw here. He goes for Iron Head, but I crit him. Yeah, boy, that's what I like. That's what I like. Crit through the thing. That's what I like. I'm gonna sag Mandibuzz here. Its usefulness is pretty limited at this point. Yeah, he's Life Orb, which is whatever. I just sag the dude. I live Ice Shard here, so U-turn is free. He goes to Pex, but I get my Specs freeze draw off again. Hopefully, he doesn't wake up here. Awesome, because I knew that wasn't gonna kill. Don't wake up this turn either and try to wake up this turn but like don't wake up that's how we're coming bro try to wake up this turn but don't get it how much does that do only 42 very bad damage i can freeze giant freeze the shit though i don't get it though huh add that up for me i go seismitoid here i'm scald here i don't think he's gonna go hard into pecs oh he actually did it that's pretty tough actually this goes back into corvin knight which is annoying hmm Pretty sure I can still win. I'm pretty sure I can still win with a little freeze dry action. Let me weather ball here. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, when I use the curum, shit gets done. Shit gets done. Shit gets done. Oh, he's gonna bane for here. I need to keep my guy. Yeah, he scalds there. There's an earth power here and sack this guy. This is pretty annoying because this Pex is actually going to be able to outstall my guys, probably. This mod sucks to deal with. Seriously. Let's see. Yeah, I do a no damage there. Is he baneful bunkers? I'm going to yawn here. I have to yawn. It's like my only play. And he's always going to be able to baneful bunker, which is the thing I got to worry about. Because um, he's going to go and sack Weave out here. So I'm just gonna lava plume, yeah. But now let's see. Can Kiram, can can Pex win? Let's see. I mean, Freezer does quite a bit, even with Toxic. I don't know if he can outstall me completely. But this Mon is broken, dude. So we'll see. And he's full spadef. Let's see how much this does. It does a lot. As he goes for Toxic, yeah. But I think I win, bro. I think Thunderbolt's gonna kill unless he double protects. Thank the Lord, because you got outplayed this game. Damn, he really tried to- no GG, see, no GG. He just ran for his life. He was like, man, my Toxic Tox Specs. This team loses to like every defensive mon. Clef, Tox Specs, all that stuff. But fortunately, when you got that Weathered Wall Kirim on your side, there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing, nobody, nobody knows. Anybody can get hit up. Anybody can get hit up. I like this team. Okay, we play another guy with Ace Guy. I thought that's an agency guy. I was like, oh, you an agent? But maybe he's... Faking it. Let's see. Lit off a Torco, lit off a Grim. Just gonna lava plume. If he sets up screens, it's fine. Bless up, bro. I appreciate that, man. I'm just gonna lava plume. Get off a little chip. There's not much else to think about. I assume this is screens. And then what is rocks, Mew or Clef? He goes for taunt. Let's go Mandibuzz here. Just defog this shit away. I mean, he's probably Spirit Break, but whatever. I just U-turn to there. To go back into Torco. It's like a Lava Plume. I'm gonna Toxic this turn. Because if he goes Mantan or some shit, that'd be nice. He goes to Mew. I miss. Which is fine. I just yawn now. Yeah. I spam Yawn again, I think. Or go Mandibuzz. As he Calm Minds again and falls asleep. Goes for that. I'm a foul play here. Doesn't do too much. As he stays asleep. Pretty lucky for me. Let's Powerball here and see. I think it's max defense though. Yeah, this is over. I'm about to lose to this. I should have hit that Toxic on it. Yeah, bro. I need to get that Toxic off ASAP. Unless this is like Rest, and then I actually lose. Like, for real. But it's not Rest. Let's Roost here. Or let's Foul Play. Or let's let's use turn actually. Sorry, I know I sound mad indecisive, but... I don't think he has a good move for me. Um, and Torkoal being Poison sucks, but not enough to where I'm too worried. If this is Max Defense T-Wave, I probably lose right here. 
That's like the worst case scenario. But none of these guys are max defense. And Cinderace is actually pretty strong. And the sun. That's like the only place I like using it. That took nothing. So we'll go into Kyurem here. On Roost, but now we can toss out a freeze dry. Just sort of test the waters. See what he's about to do. If he goes Clef, then we know it's Spadef. It's probably Spadef though. Because this is like Fizzdef. Or something. I don't know how Powerball could only do 32. That has to be max physical defense. Even though Mantine's usually special, I thought. Let's see. I'm going to sack Mandibuzz here. So he goes for Iron Head. Yes, sir. I'll foul play here. I'll foul play here for sure, though. Let's see. He goes into Grim Snarl. Let's see, reflects up. I can just default pretty freely, though. He goes into Zero Aura. I'd like to foul play here, too, expecting uh, him to expect my nice Seismitoad. You know? Alright, he goes to Clef instead. I mean, whatever. It's like fine for him. Is he Aromatherapy? Is the guy of poisoning? Well, that's annoying. As he teleports out. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I've seen this show once before. This teleport bullshit. All right, whatever. Oh, dude, he has an amazing Mew, dude. Capable of dodging any and all toxics. Oh, I'm gonna get Brock's here. Is he Aura Spheres? Cool. I go Mandibuzz and still you turn out because this thing is too weak to put permanent damage on the team. I feel like I want to go into Cinderace, but I don't know if I want to sacrifice HP like that. But if he goes into Clefable here, it's like I lose all momentum. If he goes into Mantine. I'm going to cure him here. It's a Defogs. I'm going to Ice Beam this turn because I don't want him to bring in Spadef Clef and have it take two. And I know he isn't going to sack his Mantine right here to possible freeze dry. He's either going to sack Bisharp or... Okay, cool. So he sacks Bisharp, which is good, I think. I mean... Teleport Clef is a complete threat if you have the wish support with it, you know? Complete threat if you have the wish support with it. So we'll see. Goes to this. Ice Beam again as he just light screens. I don't think he has Thunder Wave because he hasn't really been going for it. I don't think he really has many guys that set up and instantly defeat me either. Because he just aromatherapies. He's going to teleport here though. So I'm gonna drag a pole. Yeah, this teleport shit is beyond me. I've never seen some shit like this. It's pretty lit though. Goes for knockoff there. So I basically lose my counter to zero aura. I'm gonna lose to that Mew if I don't be smart soon. He walks up here to make sure he defeats me. And now I lose for trying too hard. Okay, let's see. I go into this guy, just earth power on drain punch. And then I sack another guy. Hope he doesn't knock off my specs. He does, though. Great play. Wait, I didn't know this thing went through Infiltrator. Hopefully Draco kills. Because I'm Modest Scarf. I forgot this went through Infiltrator. He goes to Mantine, though. Pretty unnecessary play, if you ask me. Because he roosts instead of uh, doing anything else. I mean, I'm just going to freeze dry here and kill you. Yeah. What? I think he tweaked. I think he's going to lose now. I think he's actually going to lose now. Because he goes into Zero Aura, but I just Earth Power that guy. I'd have lived Drain Punch quite easily, too. Yeah, dude. It's over. It's over. Unless your Demon Mew sweeps me right here. Should I go right into Torkoal and Toxic? I think that's the play. Because he's just going to call mine. That's all he ever clicks. But I miss every Toxic in this game. Somehow, he has some uh, hacked capability on there. He sacks the Clef instantly, which means I just got to U-turn out and get my Toxic off. I do have to hit. And I have missed, like, three of them today. So maybe I'll hit the hit hit today. Yes, and we do hit, so that is a GG. Good work to Torko. Good work to Torko. GG. Man, these games have been really long and really close, actually. We were able to knock that thing out. Thank God. Yo, that Mew was a big threat, but I was fortunate to have double toxic. I was fortunate to have double toxic. Let's see, let's see. Save, replace, silent, damn. Oh, it's a nice team, man. It's a nice team. Some Gigalith action. Can never hate. It's very weak to cure him, too. Of 
course I gotta play great for that, but I don't got a problem with that. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I'm a scald here. I want that damage. Cause he goes to Ferrothorn and I burn that shit instantly. Good man, that's how I should be. I'm gonna go send so I can court change those bitches back. Actually, he's not even getting up rocks. Yeah, he is. Oh, he goes for gravity instead. Oh, so he can do that, uh, that, uh, wait, wait, no, no, he's not, um, he's gonna go into, uh, eject button, gigalith. Yeah, dude, I know how that crap works. I know how this bullshit works. They're all eject button or some shit. Doesn't even make any sense. Doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> They're all so cheap. Eject button is a demonic tool made by demon, uh, demonic people. Agency, agency, shout outs, shout outs. Goes back into Ferrothorn, but that's why I scalded it, bro. Because I was like, no, man. I'm not about to lose. I'm a Stealth Rock here. If he Stealth Rocks back, good for him. It's definitely better for him than it is for me. But maybe he'll double out. I doubt it, though. Oh, but I know how this team works. It's Gravity Clef, it's Gravity Pharaoh, and I think it could even be Gravity Gigalith. Alright, so he goes back into Gigalith, but no Sand Up now either. So Earth Power is pretty free to do some. Decent chip. That's just earth power here. Maybe he'll go for rocks. No, he goes to Ferrothorn. I'll go Torque here. I don't know what's taking him so long or why he's uh doing this. I don't know what his game plan is, because Ferrothorn's already down to 60. He gets up a leech seed here, but that's not gonna save him. Cause I'm just gonna Double the Kyurem here. Let's see. Maybe he'll go into... Oh wait, this Kyurem doesn't really make sense. For me. Um, I can just spin here instead as he goes into Clef, but... Now I can spam Yawn a little bit. Which I like the idea of. Because he's just going to Gravity, right? Yeah. And now at least I can get off a of Toxic to chip in the incoming Gigalith. Or I could even I don't want to lava plume Gigalith though, cause then I'm gonna lose. <laughs> then I'm gonna lose for sure, cause he's just gonna eject into a uh, Excadrill. Eject button is a dirty tech. It's a dirty tech, man, for dirty for dirty dirty players. It's a dirty tech for the dirty players on the ladder. Anybody who uses that dirty dirty, I mean I used it and I had no success with it. It was very hard to use. Goes in the egos for that. Expected that shit. I'm gonna go Mandibuzz just so I can roost. I mean defog. As he goes into Ferrothorn, but I know obviously Leech Seed is coming at this point, so I'll just take my free defog. We're playing a long game, I know, but it's it's his fault, not mine. He knocks off my boots, which is probably whatever. I'm just gonna U-turn out. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage, especially when it's very obvious. This guy only clicks gravity every time. Um, I think he's gonna get tired of the situation he's in soon, and uh, he sets up gravity again. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's just ice beaming, dude. Like, cause even if he goes into Gigalith, like, I mean, I'd rather Earth Power than Ice Beam actually. Cause if he goes into Gigalith, cool. Yeah, I mean, it it gets ejected out, but I think I don't think I could have avoided this. Bullshit. Like, this is what I was worried about since the beginning. I don't think I could have avoided it. The thing is, I live this if he earthquakes. So it's like, whatever. But if he iron heads, I die because he's fucking banded. Let's see. But maybe he'll earthquake like a greedy guy. And we'll get out of here with our life. Let's see. Maybe he'll earthquake like a greedy guy. Should I take the gamble? It's such a bad gamble to take, honestly. It's honestly like a stupid play. But I don't really have, like... A switch into this yeah see i thought he might go for the greedy ass earthquake that play made no sense from him but now i'm alive and i can get off at least another ice beam and i killed the biggest threat which means he doesn't really have much to uh defeat my shit now let's see i got a whole ass mandibuzz see who turns out i don't know why he went for earthquake it seemed like a uh, overly aggressive play the thing is at least i killed one sand guy gigalith not that it really matters because like I'm pretty weak to like his guys as a whole, but um, yeah, whatever. You turn out, bring in Toad. As he calm minds, fuck, 
Call my gravity. What kind of bullshit is this? I'm about to actually lose. I want to get the sun up. I see moon blasts. Yeah. Let me just yawn. Let me go Cinderace here. On Calm Mind, Moon Blast, or Gigalith covers all of them shits. And I like the idea of switching here because uh, I don't want to let Torkoal get too chipped. I'm going to need its HP. It goes into this. If this is rocks, then I'm in a bad spot. They're probably all rocks, dude. This is whack. If he whirlwinds into my guy, I'm going to lose too. Man, this team actually has quite the horrible matchup versus like all fat mons. He goes into this. I just stealth rock up. I wonder if he knows anything besides gravity. He might just click gravity just to click it. Be like, shit, gravity, that's all I know. Alright, Moonblast does a lot. 35 is a lot. The, the problem with the sand is that my Kirin will die to sand. So he can just go to his Gigalith and sack it. Which is exactly why I need to predict that guy every time. Like, here I'm about to be in a good spot. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Because he's going to go into Hippo. Oh, he stayed in? You gotta be shitting me. That doesn't even make sense. I'm gonna yawn here. Let's see what he wants to do. I realize yawn might be a play now. Because if I can kill the Gigalith, then I can totally win this. Because then only one sand setter is a lot, right? Yeah, exactly. Let me go for Toxic here. Wait, let me not Toxic. What if he stays in? Let me, but I don't want to burn Hippowdon either. Which is like my great fear. I really don't want to burn Hippowdon. He goes Dragapult and I burn that instead, which is amazing. It's just like nice. Uh, getting a little bit of chip, putting that thing in a potential Sucker Punch range later on, as long as he doesn't pass a Wish to it. But I don't think he's Wish. Yeah, he's not Wish. He's already revealed he's not Wish. I go into my own Dragapult, uh, expecting the U-turn. As he goes into Clef, who I have to U-turn out on right now. And go into my nice Cinderace, who takes a lot from Moonblast. I'm gonna U-turn out. I'm about to be in Blaze range, bro. You should fucking switch. The fire, the fire Pyro Ball is gonna do too much. The fire Pyro Ball, the fire based attack Pyro Ball. When I get in Blaze, I can probably start doing some damage. But until then, he sacks Gigalith, which is amazing. That's exactly what I was waiting for because now I can play a mind game with Kiram. And use it to my advantage, just watch. Get the sun back up, forcing the hip on to come in. Yeah, that's how we want to be right now. We in his head, we in his head. That's how we're trying to be. He goes to Dragapult. I'm not worried about Dragapult. Even if it has Specs Draco, I'm not worried about Dragapult. As he goes for a Shadow Ball, just 15 because he drops a Spadef. I don't want to give up any types of advantage though. I'm just going to U-turn out on the uh, Clefable and Pyro Ball it up. Yeah, now I'll go for Pyro Ball because I have that free that freebie, that free turn. I mean, it's not really free because Hippowdon's just going to come in. But it might be Eject to Powdon, which would be like, okay, cool. Oh, it is Eject to Powdon. Great, great, great. Now that's excellent. I think it's over. I think it's over. I would wager it's over. Because it goes into Dragapult, who I'm totally killing with Sucker Punch here. Unless he has Sucker Punch, but there's no way he has it. And even if he doubles back into Hippo, it's over, dude. Yeah, because I'm in Blaze range now. There's nothing he can do. Yo, this is about to be a 6-0. Yo, this was an incredible live. Incredible live. Kieran really cared his way. We climbed all the way up the ladder. I was really saucing on players today. 6-0 versus this? Sheesh, man. How do you have double sand, but the Sun Team 6-0s you? Man, here at the agency, that's how we're playing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. I'll catch y'all later for my stream later today. And I'm probably going to post again as well. Cop the agency merch, all that good stuff. Peace.